Congratulations on your new appliances. I'm Chef Mark, and I'm here with five tips to make sure you get the most out of your new appliances. Tip number one, we're gonna start with your new dishwasher. And I would say the most important thing is to make sure you're adding rinse aid to the dishwasher. Majority of dishwashers out there have some sort of dishwasher uh, rinse aid reservoir. Uh, this is a Frigidaire machine, very common to see this in the door. And what rinse aid, rinse aid does is that it lowers the temperature at which water evaporates, ensuring that your dishes get dry enough. The manufacturer expects you to add this, so if you're not happy with the drying, check your rinse aid. We know you're excited about your new refrigerator, but it's imperative you give the unit enough time to cool down before you add groceries. If you take a new refrigerator, load it full of groceries, right when you plug it in, it could take hours and even days to get down to proper temperature, putting a lot of strain on the compressor. So two to three hours minimum before you add anything is gonna ensure great lifespan for your new refrigerator. If you're like the majority of homeowners, myself included, you have an OTR, an over the range microwave. And these do three things. They ser serve as a microwave, they have a fan and they have a light. Now, one way you can uh, reduce the life of your microwave is by boiling water without running the fan. Because if you don't run the fan, you get a lot of excess moisture building up on the bottom and that will eventually can work its way into the system, shortening the lifespan of your new microwave. So go ahead, turn the fan on. That'll ensure good airflow. Even if it's just venting into the kitchen, it'll move that moist air through the unit, out and away, keeping the electronics working properly for a good long time. Congratulations on your new washer and dryer set. We got a couple of tips that are gonna help you make sure these run for a good long time. First, when you're done running your laundry through the machine, make sure you keep the door propped open. That'll allow good airflow around the seal here if you get water trapped in there, it can develop an odor which is very unpleasant. And then second, when you're done running a load of uh, laundry through the dryer, go ahead and clean out the lint trap every single time. That's really important because it allows good airflow, making sure that it's heating properly, keeping the machine operating optimally for years to come. A lot of ranges come with the self-clean option. And keep in mind that the self-clean option runs the stove at a very high temperature for a very long amount of time, creating odor and quite a bit of heat. So to optimize your stove, we recommend never using the self-clean option because it can, um, it can damage the thermostat, which is the most important component in the oven. If the thermostat goes, you won't be able to generate any heat. And heaven forbid this happens, let's say a few days before an important holiday or a family event. So to keep your oven clean, go ahead and do the steam clean method. And that's easy. You put a pan of water in the oven. You let that run at about 300, 350 degrees for an hour, and then just wipe the oven out. Most new ovens have um, a coating on the inside that favors steam cleaning. So I know you're excited about that, that feature. And you might ask, why do manufacturers include the self-clean feature if it's something that we don't recommend using? And it's because in uh, throughout history, it's been a popular option. People look for it. And also with the self-clean oven, you're typically getting a more powerful range. So the feature itself, you get other features that are gonna be important to you. But like I said, we don't recommend actually using it. We hope these tips help you maintain your appliances for a long time into the future. As always, if you enjoy our channel, make sure you like and subscribe.